What's up guys, this is David and today we're going to take a look at the small rig cage for the X-T3 camera with battery grip right after this. So if you have an X-T3 and intend to use it for video, you'll probably need a battery grip and a cage. Small Rig recently released this cage, which is a must have for any filmmaker out there using this new camera system. So what do you get? You'll get the cage itself, an M2 screw, and an Allen wrench. The cage itself is made of CNS machined aluminum and should provide adequate protection out in the field. I've personally dropped a camera before with a Small Rig cage installed and the camera itself suffered minimum damage. Installation, like all of the other small rig cages, is pretty straightforward. Set the camera in place with the battery grip attached, screw the bottom to the X-T3's tripod mount, and then insert the included M2 screw on the right side of the camera. This little screw is the anti-twist feature and will help minimize movement within the cage. As you can see, the cage fits the X-T3 very well. It's still easy to handle and doesn't add much bulk. The dials are still accessible, as is the shutter button. On the top of the cage, you now have quarter 20 threads as well as RE38 threads to add accessories such as top handles. You'll also still be able to access the hot shoe plug to plug in accessories like a mic or use the cold shoe built into the cage. On the right and left side, you'll find more of the same, as well as NATO rails and nice cutouts for the SD card slot and all your other ports. You can also remove the door on the X-T3 to make plugging and unplugging cables a little bit easier. Another consideration small rig put into this cage is the battery compartment. You can slide the grip battery tray in and out without any issues. The small rig cage is a great purchase for $99 if you need the added protection and need to rig your camera for video work. I'll make sure to put a link to this cage in the video description along with some of the other accessories I use in my setup. So that's about it for today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.